Hey, cute people. It's me. I'm on a roll, trying to keep up anyway. Um, today, I have something a little bit different for you guys. But let me just say, you know, it's another dreary day. It started off pretty sunny when I decided to film where I am now. It was sunny, but something changed. But you know me, I'm going to keep rolling with it. But um, I, I, I got to roll with it because if I don't, who knows when I'll be able to um, do another video. So hang in there with me, guys. It won't be too long or too torturous. <laughs> but um, since I've been down here in North Carolina, I have been shopping at um, Dollar General for quite some time. I've never done a haul because I never really picked up anything that I really wanted to share. I would watch other people's videos and see something that I like and I'll run to Dollar General and of course they wouldn't have it so then I'll end up getting something else. Now this video here is just some things that I needed because you guys know that I moved and I don't really have the basics so I needed a lot of the basics so I just went to Dollar Tree and picked up quite a few things. Um, yeah, like I said, and then another thing too, like the town that we go shopping in, they have two I should say city that we go shopping in. They have two Dollar Trees there, right? And neither one of them, not neither one of them ever have all the good stuff that I see other people hauling. I don't know what that's about. So I think I'm going to have to go to the bigger city where they may have a bigger Dollar General. The last time I was there, I was too tired after we came out of Walmart. But I'm going to go there because there's so many things I see that I want that other people have. I know that doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean. So let me show you some of the things that I picked up. I've always seen these things here, right? And I would say, why would somebody need these, right? You see the little click things? You see them all the time everywhere. But I figured, let me get these because we always have something that's open. So I figured I'm going to go ahead and get them. They have three different sizes. And this, I think, was the largest size and it had two in it. Then you have another size that may be about that size. Yeah, about that size. And then you have the little smaller ones. I want to get a few more because these things really come in handy for a lot of things. Once you open a bag and you have no way to seal it back up. Now, when I was in New York, I always, always bought my Brillo. Yes, from Dale's. This stuff right here, it does work pretty good. I can't say it's any different than if you went to Walmart and spent um, 4 or $5 on um, some Brillo. That it would work any less or any better than this one. So um, there's eight in here. And I picked that up because you always need Brillo. And it's so funny because a lot of things that I've cooked here, I couldn't clean the pan the way I wanted to because I didn't have any Brillo. So I said, let me run and get some Brillo. Something I always get. And I always look at my mother because she buys um, her aluminum foil from Walmart. And to me, the Walmart um, is a better quality, of course. I guess this is... The generic they make just for dollar stores, but it works just as well, and it's a dollar. And when she buys aluminum foil from um, Walmart, I just cringe because it has to be at least about five, six dollars, something like that. But she doesn't want to buy this one, so she gets that one, and I guess she's fine with it. Something that you always have to have in the house, which I never used to buy before unless I wanted to do something particular with them. But living at my mom's house, I realized these do come in handy. And since it's just me and my son now, when I purchase meat and such, like the big packs and stuff, I don't need to um, cook all of it. And I don't want to freeze all of it because then you have to defrost it and yada, yada, yada. So I figured let me go ahead and get some of these cheap um, freezer bags. And as you can see, I have the quart and also the um, gallon. Is this the gallon? Yeah, this is the gallon size. And like I said, these will definitely come in handy for when um, you don't want to um, cook all the meat or your vegetables, whatever it is that you need to freeze. So I'm going to see how those work. If they'll keep freeze the burn away, then I know they'll work it. Another thing I got, and if I remember the young lady's name that I watched um, her video, um, I'm going to, you know, include um, her channel there because I have a dishwasher I think I mentioned to you guys but I didn't want to spend five six seven dollars on the um, washer pack so I got these um, because my mom gave me some dishes a whole set of beautiful dishes beautiful dishes and I wanted to clean them up and put them away but I didn't want to have to wash a couple and then um, well I didn't want to wash all of them by hand so I'm going to stick them in my 
washing machine that I'm going to be using for the first time. So I got that. Now, the other thing that I wanted to pick up is some oven mitts because I picked up some um, towels from Target and I picked them because they were really cute and I liked them. They were white. They are white. And you know, after a while, white doesn't always stay white and stay cute. I didn't want to damage it. Because a lot of times when you pick up something out of the oven, when you pull something out of the oven, it gets... The towel may go into the juice or whatever, and I didn't like that. So I got the little oven mitts, y'all, a dollar. They had all kinds of colors, but I picked these because I figured these are kind of bright. They'll pop a little bit in my kitchen. They got the little handy-dandy hooks, so those are definitely coming handy. And I love candles. Always get these. Um, deals used to have them for a dollar. They don't last very long, but they are refillable. But I just end up, um, I don't throw them away. I do keep them and then I just buy another one because it's, it's a dollar. And to buy the um, fluid, maybe it costs a couple of dollars, but it may be worth it to refill it. But I just buy a new one. My son is always coughing, so I got him some holes. Um, I think I'm going to take one myself because I love these. Um, especially Ricola. Now, they need to have Ricola in the um, dollar store that would really be saying something, but they don't. And I bought a candle. Um, I always saw candles at Dollar Tree, you know, in different stores, and I said, no, I would never buy a candle from one of these type stores, but I hear that as long as it's supposed to be old Williamsburg, I guess, they're supposed to be good. And the person that I watched, and she talked about the dishwasher pack, she talked about this candle here because she also has the candle so it's a, it's a pretty color isn't it somewhat much is my lipstick but it's so dark y'all you can't really see my lipstick like i would like you to but like i mentioned before when um i have the chance and opportunity to make a video i'm making a video so i'm sorry that it's it's dark but you can see the things that i purchased right I purchased a couple of more things um i've always been looking for these type things in dollar general Especially the um, little drawers, but of course I can never find those. They always have these, which is okay, because this will definitely come in handy. And for a dollar, can you beat it? No, you can't. So, it's a great quality. It's thick. It's not um, thin and flimsy or anything. And I have um, some holes here where I can stick some stuff in, some other stuff here, which I'm not sure how I'm going to use it, but... Um, you know how it is. When you have something, you will find a use for it, right? And I love magnets on the refrigerator. I happen to come across these. They had a few more um, styles, but I just picked these here. I don't know if you can see them really well. But I want to get the other ones because um, I just love magnets on a refrigerator. One says, love, smile, dream, and the other two are just designs. And they are so cute. So I hope I'll be able to get the other ones. Um, and it, all the stuff here, I don't know if it's new or if it's old or anything. Because, like I said, I'm always watching other people's videos. They have some of the nicest stuff. I mean, like, why can't I get that stuff? But I guess the stores that are in New Bern, North Carolina, are pretty small. But one good thing, though, know, you can go into the website and order what you want and have it sent to the store. But a lot of those things, you have to buy it in a quantity of 12. So... I guess it's a good thing if you can use it and your auntie can use it, your grandma can use it, then it's not too bad. Now, one more thing that I picked up that I am eager, eager to try in my kitchen. Isn't that pretty? I was watching a video and um, I'm going to attach her name too. She had um, showed how she used this black splash in her um, kitchen. And I thought that was really nice. So I said, oh, I'm going to look out for that. So I found this pattern here. I saw her pattern, too. Her pattern was more like um, bricks, but I didn't want anything that looked like bricks. I like this because it's bright and it's eye-catching. It's just really cute and to go with the um, kitchen. So at some point, when, I don't know, but I'm going to um, hook it up. And when I do, I'll show you guys. I'll, I'll show you guys how it looks. Because if I, like I told you, I want my home to feel like a home and look like somebody lives here. Because right now, it just looks like people don't live here. <laughs> but right there, you can see people do live here. 
And um, yeah, but anyway, that's my Dollar Tree haul. I won't be doing Dollar Tree hauls often only because in the Dollar Trees that I go to, they A, never have nothing new. They don't have anything all that exciting to get. So why continue to do Dollar Tree hauls unless I come across something that I know you guys would be interested in? And let me just say that um, I love Dollar Tree shopping. <laughs> videos and I like going there to shop because all the stuff here that I gotten may have cost me what about $15, $16 more or less and I have half of what I need so yeah I'll get more of what I need you know how that is right but anyway I'm going to end this video because I'm waiting for my mom to come pick me up I don't have a car yet but I got to get one hopefully within the next um, few months I'll have a vehicle um but I'm waiting for my mom to come pick me up so I can go over to her house and um, just hang out with my family for a little while and um, eat their food and drink up their sodas because we don't buy soda here. But anyway, um, I just want to say to you guys, thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. Thank you all so much for stopping by and watching this video. I said that already. Yeah, my mind just went blank. Um, that's what happens when you're in your 50s. If it happens to you in your 20s or your 30s, do worry. But um, thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. And I'll see you in the next. And I just want you guys to share and spread love. Nope, I haven't cut my nails yet. But I'm going to. Let's see if you can tell the difference. Can you really tell the difference? Because this is the one that was broken. So I don't know. I was thinking maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep them. Maybe I'll just follow them up and keep them. I don't know. I'll see.